Guys, welcome back to my vlog. For today's vlog is I am going to show you what I have learned in my inorganic chemistry class and what are the importance of inorganic chemistry in my course and of course how inorganic chemistry be useful in our day-to-day -day living. What is inorganic chemistry? Inorganic chemistry is the study of the formation, synthesis, and properties of compounds that do not contain carbon-hydrogen bands. There are around 100,000 known inorganic compounds, while there are around 2 million known organic compounds. Examples of inorganic compounds include sodium chloride, or NaCl, used as table salt, and carbon dioxide, or CO2. What is anions and cations? Anion is an ion that has gained one or more electrons acquiring a negative charge, whereas cation is an ion that has lost one or more electrons gaining a positive charge. Noble gas. What is noble gas? Any of the gaseous elements, helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon, and radon, occupying group 18 of the periodic table. They were long believed to be totally unreactive, but compounds of xenon, krypton, and radon are now known. What are the importance of inorganic chemistry in my course? Inorganic chemistry is used to study and develop catalysts, coatings, fuels, surfactants, materials, superconductors, and drugs. Important chemical reactions in inorganic chemistry include double di displacement reactions and redox reactions. How is inorganic chemistry be useful in our day-to-day -day living? Chemistry is a big part of our everyday life. You find chemistry in daily life, food you eat, air you breathe, soap, your emotions, and literally every object you can see or touch. Food is made from chemicals. Many of the changes you observe in the world around you are caused by chemical reactions. Therefore, chemistry play an important role for us to survive in this world. In other words, inorganic compounds are used as catalysts, pigments, coatings, surfactants, medicines, fuels, and more. They often have high melting points and specific high or low electrical conductivity properties, which make them useful for specific purposes. I hope you guys have learned a lot about inorganic chemistry today. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for watching.